Welcome back, everybody, to Sanity Lost, the podcast where we talk about things and sometimes roll dice. Speaking where do dice, your babies come from? <laughs> that is an 1870 um, for luck. I did have a topic, and then another topic came into mind, and then a possibly a third one. There was like a part of me that was like, hmm, this would be a fun topic for the podcast while I was in the middle of work. And then I was like, should I text everybody? Or not, well, I can only text two-thirds of the people here wait i think i have knight's number you might I'm gonna check right huh. now i don't know <laughs> i want to find out i want to find out right now because it would be in this well i didn't text you well, i would have to check my contacts guys this is very important and you guys <laughs> clicked play on this episode so that's on you and welcome thanks for uh humoring uh, this i craziness. don't i don't have your number i didn't know if i got it at I have Goro. I don't have yours. I mean, uh, I could, just tell me that live over the over the thing. Uh, it's uh, eight six seven five three zero nine. I called it. All I got was a self help line. No. Um, so, but one thing that uh, like, if Skynet was real, would you fight or join? Yes. <laughs> like, would you fight against the Terminators? Would you be like, "Hey, I want to be just like you"? Well, I don't think anybody was, and nobody joined the Terminators. They like, just have they tried? No, I think they they killed you when they found you. So, do you think the Matrix is just the other, like the Terminators won, and the Matrix is like now humans are battery powers? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's almost exactly how the uh, progression ends up going. <laughs> yeah, the but, uh, oh, we, Skynet we realized, power. oh, wait, I don't need to kill all of them. I can just turn them into batteries. Yeah. I, I think it Organic. Was like, yeah. I think a lot of it was uh, humans uh, in the process of fighting decided to completely decimate the atmosphere so nothing could live and no solar or anything else. So guess what? Now you become batteries. Hmm. Yeah, I like that plotline of Wally. <laughs> What's your favorite robot? Like movie robot? Uh, Is it Chappie? I like Chappie. Chappie. Chappie's fun. I actually haven't watched the movie. I just remember the trailer. I don't trailers. remember. I, wasn't I don't remember if I watched that one or not. But uh, see, now I'm I'm pondering between Johnny Five uh, would be like the historical for me, like really early on. Right side, and Wally because Wally's just cool. Mm -hmm. I don't think I have opinions on this question. You don't have a favorite robot from a TV show, or movie, or reality TV show. Like you don't like the robot from Rocky Five. <laughs> what about R two D two? R two D two is a lesbian now. Is pretty cool. Um, Did you guys hear that interview? No. No. What are you talking it's, about? It's uh, the people from Acolyte. Apparently, there's uh, it's become a hot topic between certain fandoms of Star Wars, where apparently Acolyte has a uh, a lot of uh, I guess LGBT focus on it, okay. and they said that uh, CP3O was gay, and that R2D2 was a lesbian. Okay. And everyone's like, R2-D2 can't be a lesbian. Do you know how many things he sticks himself <laughs> into in the course of the show? Oh <laughs> <laughs> that dude is... He's a pervert. That's what he is. <laughs> he's like, he sticks to, he sticks to this... this his his thing and, and, and yeah, anything. He's, oh he sticks God. his robot receptacle. bits into any opening, and the next thing he hears, like, what? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Time to put that explicit tag on this yeah, episode. I was say. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> this is gonna be the first ep like this is gonna be like, hey, this is a real fun show. It's pretty like it's got some good horror, but it's pretty family friendly. And then it's that is gonna be <laughs> the episode. <laughs> Isn't that like the worst? Like when you're like, guys, this is a really good show. It's like it's it's great. The mystery's all good, and then it's just like this porn actress was brutally murdered and had thirty two <laughs> dogs that could fire. And then it's just, we'll stop there. 
<laughs> you're, you're, it's even more than that. It's like you're telling somebody about how great this show is, and they mm-hmm. go and pick the that one episode, that episode, yes. to be the one that they try out, and they come it's back. Like and, it's on Netflix. Why did you start in the middle? <laughs> what? Why did you listen? To, or what was? Why did you recommend this weird thing to me? Like, what are you talking about? I watched this episode. Mm-hmm. That's like. This is nothing like what you described. Oh, right. That episode. <laughs> yeah. The one yeah. problem episode. <laughs> the one where they just had to get it all out of their system. <laughs> yeah, it's it's one of the, it. Oh, what was it? There was something else where it was that a uh, similar thing was just reminding me of. It's just the worst. It's like the worst thing to like. Oh, now I remember. I I saw this TikTok the other day where it was like this person's like, I finally get my normie friend to watch an anime with me. And it just was like, she's like, yeah. And then it's just like cuts to like, I really hope there's not one of those weird like fan servicey, like perverted like (laughs) themes in there. And she's just like, uh, (laughs) like freaking out. Like, no. Whoops. Uh, yeah. Um,. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what would be a fun robot to hang out with, though. Johnny Five is alive. I've heard the name, but I'm like Short totally circuit. blank, you know. Short circuit. I don't think I've seen that. Johnny Five. They aged a little bit, but they're still fun. You're muted, by the way, John. Um, I'm um, muted or just talking quietly? Probably talking. Talking quietly. quietly. <laughs> Maybe talking <laughs> quietly, but your mouth was moving and there was no sound yep. coming through. So, <laughs> so I can only imagine yeah. that you are totally agreeing with me. That it was a great show, and <laughs> yeah, oh, hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah. Sometimes I wonder, like, uh. If any of the worlds or games that I came up with ever got like a TV series thing, oh, like geez. I'm like, which like if if I had like a director come up and they're just like, hey, one of your games, will we're gonna make it into like a TV show. I'm like, I sit there and I'm like, which one would I want actually like want cleaned up for TV? Yeah, do you have like thoughts? No, I try to avoid those. <laughs> Who plays Caleb? Okay. Yeah, like I think there'd be, I I definitely think uh, there would have to be a lot of cleaning up with this to to make it to like a TV thing. There's, it, I think it'd be interesting, but uh, if if we do a second season, the th- the stuff I'm thinking for that, I'm like, I think would work a little bit better. Um. But uh, there is, I do think uh, some of the Raven Scale stuff would be fun. Yeah. Mainly because I want to just see the birds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the thing is, it's like I, I think, uh, I think it would just need to end uh, after the mirror. Like it would, I think that's where we would have to like yeah. end there because like after that, that's when we got like scheduling and system change and there was like a lot of confusion Mm -hmm, Um, mm -hmm. so yeah i think that wouldn't be fun i don't know i think maybe last year's charity palooza would be a fun uh like mini series Mm -hmm. of just uh the different time Mm -hmm. periods yeah i think this i think blades in the dark uh for charity palooza this year like i've i have it all written out i'm like okay this would probably be a really fun heist style movie yeah from if it i know it's gonna go a hundred times more bonkers but uh (laughs) slippy shoes (laughs) yeah slippy shoes will be in there it's uh like i'm trying to remember all the things like sandy loss would be fun but it's like i think if it, it got like an animated or like a true detective thing i I think I would think of it more like what would be a more interesting chapter to see done. Like, uh... Hmm. I think chapter six, like, 
when it's like the end uh, for Skip, Caleb, and uh, Cora. The chase mm -hmm. scene. Yeah, the chase scene, mm -hmm. but then like have flashbacks to like everything that happened in the chapters up to that point, I think would be fun. Yeah. I think, uh, I think, uh, with the, the, well, the chapter directly after that, when we meet the new crew, and it's like, like, chapter seven, I think it's chapter seven. I can look at my notes, but it's the one that is, like, completely different from everything else, because it's, like, well, let's, let's it's see. the first. So we're in chapter no, not eight seven. now, so seven would Six. have been the, seven was the, sorry, um, the, uh, the clown tents that we killed uh Buster. yes the clown tents which would also be fun let's see chapter six no chapter six is when buster is chapter seven is well, it could also that's when we met hank oh, no, chapter we, seven is right. when we seven, met hank seven was the uh the forest yeah yes which i think that would be a like that could be it's all like some of these i feel like they're their own like directed tv movies some of them yeah but um, now the one I'm thinking of that I think would be a really interesting one is Chapter Five, uh, the Concrete City. Mm. Yeah. Because like I feel like that one would be a really interesting because it's just the way everything played out. Like we could show like you guys inspecting the things and. Yeah. All the different areas, and then it's just like August is like, I'm ready to go. Let's mm -hmm. leave. Mm -hmm. I'm done with this. Why is the why is there fire up there? <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Oh, there's people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one was intense and like fun in a creepy way. I definitely think that would be a fun one. Mm -hmm. Uh, that that would be like more like I guess like a Blair Witchy. Kind of, could be like yeah. a Blair Witch kind of the vibe. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I think there's some of my favorite like kind of creatures I created, and they have never come back. <laughs> or have to, they? I was that say, we you know need of. To find. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Find a way to shoehorn them in. <laughs> I did. It was called Chapter Five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, I don't know. Like, there's... I, I know there's a lot of stuff I like about this chapter, too, that uh, I'm, I'm enjoying. Yeah. Which I think is a good time to do this. Dun, dun, dun. No. No, no uh, Indiana Jones. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> which is normally how Call of Cthulhu is played. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, last time... You guys continued your treasure hunt. You guys have collected uh, a tome of Celtic rituals and have had that confirmed by Mother. You guys have a cross of silver with a stick co collected. Uh, you have a yellow, a white, a red, and blue used chalk. You feel like you uh, have a lead on a sapling and you ha know where a record player is but is there a jazz record with it? <laughs> I don't know. Do we have a time uh, check? Yes, I think at this point it's about, I'm gonna say it's about uh, two hours between all the traveling and, and everything. So it's okay. it's been about like two hours to, to go and, and get every, everything you have up to this point. Yeah. Like you, you guys have been making pretty decent time uh man um and so with that um yeah we the the boys they they jumped out and uh they they started uh somehow shoved uh, the cross on a stick so I'm just thinking of Wait, Jeff Dunham. I was going to ask, like, how <laughs> tall is this stick? 32 feet. No. Uh, just wandering around with, like, the most giant pole. 
<laughs> they they tied a an orange flag and stuck it out of the back. <laughs> so how is this? Uh, how is the cross attached to this pole again? Is it? It it is fastened uh, in a way where it's just like uh, it's like a bracket that is like um, not fused. It's it, it pretty much it, it, there wasn't like an easy way to see like it didn't like unclasp or or something it. Um, but it looks like the bracket is, there's like a bracket that's welded to the pole and then the, to the pole, it kind of like locked in somehow, but like, uh, I'm pretty sure like if you wanted to, you can spend some time like going in there and, and just maneuvering, but it was like between being in there and, and just kind of rushing, like it, you didn't see like an easy way to to undo it, but like if you get into a spot where, I don't know, if you want to kind of finagle with it, but it's it's big enough, it's tall enough where it can like sit in your in your car perfectly fine. Like it's not, uh, yeah, it's it's not like uh, hindering anything. Um, yeah, it was more like the the pole was like kind of lifting up a little bit higher than already the elevated platform, so. Uh, but yeah, you guys do that, uh, and you guys get in the car and you just hear sirens. Uh, you don't know what direction they're coming from or where they're going, but, uh, what would the boys like to do? Um, well, I guess we head towards the fire station because we need the record and record player. Or, um, yeah, we need those. Mm hmm Okay, and you're going to head there. Yep. That's sort of where the others are as well, but fire station's like right here. Yeah, well, they're going to the hardware store. Yeah. Yeah. So we're all basically I, ending up pretty close yeah, to each other. Kind of nearby. The same region. Yeah. yeah. I, I will say uh, there's one thing that it, it slipped my mind that would have happened last episode. Uh, as Sarah walked up to the parents, uh, I think there was a lot more like, Oh my goodness, what's wrong? Because her head, she has the oh. rune on her head. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that also attributed to, like, um, like you just, uh, why Deli was able to run up, grab the chalk, and run back, like, yeah, without being okay. noticed. It okay, was just, okay. like, there was concern, and maybe one of the kids saw it, and that's what, like, dropped his ice cream cake on the 8 million degree blacktop. <laughs> um <laughs> And so, like, and that's why she's taking a little bit because she's like, okay, okay, well, I gotta go, I gotta go. And, but, like, she's kind of being held up, like, oh my goodness, is everything okay? Like, yeah. So, like, not only is your dad dead, your, your head's on fire. Well, <laughs> thanks, Susan. Um, be Anthony. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> um, with all that, let's see. So, let's stick with the boys. The boys. Um, that was something up. Where is this place again? Be it Mount Carmel or is it Mount Holly? Mount Carmel. Uh, Mount Carmel. Uh. I have to find out where something is located. Hold on, like, the fire station uh -huh. is not where, like, okay, so where, where I marked that, apparently, now I'm curious if I even was looking <laughs> at the, a map when I said that's where the fire company is. <laughs> it's like uh, totally like right different. No, it's actually... Oops. It's over yonder. Oh. Uh, that's... You're looking at the Mount Carmel Rescue Squad? That's what came up when I typed in Mount Carmel Fire Department, or Fire Station. Ah. 
So on the on map Google Maps, it's labeled Mount Carmel Area Rescue. Oh, uh, there we go. Yeah. It's labeled okay. as a fire station as well. But yeah, there we go. There's a fire company. There's also Atlas Fire Company number one. Yeah, we'll keep it there. It's right where we originally marked it. Um, but it would make more sense from a from it would split us up more if we actually went to that the rescue squad. I just don't know if that's actually the. the I'm gonna just stick with not. what we originally did. I'm just gonna stick with the original places, uh, cause maps are dumb. <laughs> um, so anyway, you guys are heading down there, and uh, as you kind of go down this fun road that, for some reason, my screenshot decided to not say the name of. Uh, <laughs> But as you, you kind of get turned down and get on Laurel Street to move down to uh, the fire station, uh, you hear the sirens and, and everything, but you never actually see what vehicle they're attached to. Um, but, yeah. Uh, you pull up, and you can see that there's a couple couple vehicles in there, like civilian vehicles, uh, in the fire station. Um, what would you like to do, David? Um, I'm gonna see, hop out and see if I can find somebody to talk to. I guess there's also say, what would you also like to do, August? <laughs> yeah, no, same thing. We need to get information. All right. So you go in there, and uh, David, you you uh, kind of walk in with August, walk in, and uh, you actually recognize like the first person you see in there uh, as one of your old classmates uh, who is now working let's see you guys would be in your you in your 50s mm -hmm. uh, David is 58 yeah yeah so um, yeah so for maybe uh, he was a couple like uh, a freshman or like a couple of years he was in a couple of grades underneath you but uh so maybe not a classmate but you you recognize him uh and uh he's got like the labeling of being the fire chief and he's like winters oh what is everything okay like uh and this guy's name is hubert 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 dale that is a name yeah, it was just the first names that came that to came mind. To mind. <laughs> yeah, that is how uh, we but you guys called here. him Huey. You guys, his nickname was like Huey, and he hated it. <laughs> cool. But like, <laughs> does David remember him hating it? Maybe. Or did, uh, or would this be more of a like? Uh, it, it's he might remember the nickname, but not that they that he. I'll let you play that however you want. But uh, he's like, is everything okay? Like, you're, isn't your dad's funeral? Hey, uh, hey, yeah, man, yeah, it, it is. Um, why don't well, Why don't you say my name? You could, you can see my friend here. <laughs> you can see my friend August here. And uh, am I not supposed to? Oh my gosh, what is wrong with your head? Exactly. <laughs> and like um, he gets a fire extinguisher. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was just thinking. I was like, August should have found like a hat or something to wear. I, I mean, it, this, a little this, this really is what this really works out for. Like, yeah, I need we need the attention immediately, sort of a thing. So, uh, yeah, Chief Huey, man. My mom said that she gave you guys the dad's old record player and his uh, his record collection. Yeah, we, what does that have to do with Flamey McGee over here? Yeah, well, so there's this ritual that we have to collect a bunch of stuff for, and we need the record player and a jazz record. I, yeah, it sounds ridiculous. I agree. I don't understand exactly why that is, but well, yeah, I've I've worked in a lot of with a lot of really weird stuff over the years. So, you know, weird is second nature. So I'm gonna roll sanity for him. <laughs> Because you just said, like, yeah, I gotta go make a ritual for fire on my head. Yeah. Oh, he's taking it pretty well. He rolled a 22. Uh, <laughs> All right. And he's just like, um, are you, like, 
Are you in a cult? <laughs> no. Maybe. No. <laughs> Let's, it's, it's been a long day. With Dad's like, funeral and everything. I know your sister's in, like, into some weird stuff. Like, I saw her getting some weird books with a whole bunch. Of, like, they, I had to help her move it once, but... Yeah, it, you know, it runs in the family. I mean, uh... Listen, uh, can we borrow this? Yeah, we just need to borrow the record player. Rolling again. <laughs> oh, he did not take that well. That's an 88. <laughs> He's like, uh, uh, uh... And, like, he, he... It gets so overwhelmed, he just, like, turns to August, like... Does it hurt? <laughs> oh, no. And, like, he's, like, pointed, like, where... To his forehead, like, where you're... Your fire. So, like, they, he, uh, August is like, I, yeah, I don't feel anything. I wouldn't even know it's there unless you told him, unless somebody, you know, pointed it out. Can I touch it? Oh, gosh. <laughs> no. Don't touch <laughs> it. Oh, yeah, I... I, I not like I wasn't being like like I just uh, like look we're we're all trained here like in as first responders and and paramedics so it's like if uh, yeah I'm, I'm good don't touch me yeah he's not the only one that has this either that's why we need this uh, need the record player and can we can we see if uh we can grab that and see if there's a if dead out jazz album that was in the collection. Wow, it just keeps getting worse for his oh sanity rolls. Gosh. That was a 99. He's just like... Uh, 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 and then, like... Is like I was going to say, he's not going to be able to help at all. Like, you just see him kind of, like, go cross-eyed. And then it's just, like, this, like, young, like, fresh out of high school. is just like, hey, Mr. Dale, um, I'm here. It's, oh, uh, you're uh, Mr. Winters, right? And... Oh my gosh, your friend's head's on fire. <laughs> uh, we're going to cut to... to, to <laughs> this, is um, going, this is going brilliantly. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. you guys are what making been the, good What should have been the progress. easiest part of this challenge? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we cut to Deli and uh, Sarah just driving down the road um, into the... Into... Well, there's... On the map that I screenshot for you is cold hardware, Cole's hardware. Uh, was there another anything on like uh, your your search for a hardware store that? Uh, no, because I mean after the dad like essentially sent us there. Um, yeah, I think. <laughs> out of we'll curiosity, just go right there. out of character curiosity, is this the is the Cole that? Uh, yelled at Delhi, the same coal that owns this hardware store, or that the hardware oh store is named for. Oh my gosh! Did he just send me to his own store? You'll find out, I guess. Uh, oh no! So yeah, you pull up there and you see like, uh, um, pretty much like this banner's like tree adoption day, and it's like very much like some made up thing to make people like buy. <laughs> like stuff and yeah. uh, you kind of see this large tent uh, with uh, like kind of one of those like um, not like a circus tent style thing but like a, like a pop a couple pop up tents where it looks like there's some uh, like a handful of people in there um, and as you I guess uh, she, Sarah Parks and she's like um, look, I'm gonna stay in here with my head, like, the way it is. I, I already had more than enough attention that I wanted, so, totally if you don't yeah. mind, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, like, she kind of just leaves the car running, and, and, uh, she's like, yeah, just, if you find what you need, just, uh, put it in the back, I guess. Um, and so, yeah, so, what would you like to do? Yeah, so Deli's gonna get out. Um, is it one of those like hardware stores where they have the like garden center on the outside or like? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it, it looks like a normal kind of garden like kind of thing on the outside, but then it's like a special like tree sale thing happening. Okay. Okay. Like that's where the tents are that are also kind of like they're kind of like blocking where cars could like pull right in front of the hardware store, but uh, it's yeah. 
but there's enough parking and stuff around where people can just pull up there. Okay, so she's going to um, make a beeline for the like garden center, um, and she's gonna look. She's gonna be on the lookout both for like a sap, like saplings, but then also for like a person because she's not messing around. Like she's just gonna kind of like get in find help or like you know whatever um and get out kind of thing hey uh if you're looking for a person roll spot hidden to see if you can find anybody because okay. <laughs> all of the uh the store workers hide all the time i know They're uh, so it's more like find. more like uh you can spot like a, an apron or something like okay that's 50 under 56 Okay. Uh, yeah, after a set, like maybe you, you don't catch anybody at first, and then all of a sudden uh, you see this guy very clearly uh, has the, the cold hardware apron on. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he's just kind of, he looks, he's kind of like thin, like kind of lanky. Uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, in his 40s or something, and like, uh, and uh, but yeah, he looks like very relaxed. He's kind of got like a beard and like glasses. Um, and uh, but yeah, he just uh, he looks at you and smiles and he's like, "Oh, hey there. My name's uh, Jimmy Cole. Uh, can I help you?" Yes, Jimmy, you can. So I am in. Uh, I am looking for something very special. Um, oh, okay, okay. I need a sapling. Mm-hmm. And this sapling... Now hang with me, because this might be a little weird, but I have a very special purpose for it. Um, needs to have four branches to it. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we can have to find that out. Um, and, like, he starts looking around. It's like, so, um, I don't recognize it. How'd you come here? Oh, um, well... Do you know the Winters family? Oh, yeah. Great family. They are. They're lovely. Um, well, I actually happen to be very close with both Sarah and David, so um, I am unfortunately in town for their dad's funeral. Uh, yeah, it's a shame. He was a nice man. He was. <laughs> a good uh, fighter. Yeah, so that doesn't explain why you're here. Oh, I'm here for a sapling. Well, no, like, why, like, come in for a funeral and decide to get a plant? Mm hmm Hmm. All right. Well, at least you didn't, like, run into my brother. He, like, disowned me ever since I kind of got into the whole nature thing. He, like, this whole thing was mine. He's like, I ain't helping you because it's my kid's birthday or whatever, mumbo jumbo. You're Man, not he's... dead? No, I'm dead to him. Oh, I did. I oh, did meet you. Oh, you met him? I did, oh, yes, yes. A bald meatball he of a said, man that's red? He said you were dead. I told him to call you. Uh, Yeah, no, he's just mad that uh, a mom liked the flowers. He's like two and... miles away. Oh, yeah, no, like, I'm going to see him tomorrow for, like, family dinner. I don't... Anyway. Um, <laughs> let's Cora see. just, like, like, as they're standing next to each other, she just, like understandingly like puts a, a hand on his shoulder and just kind of like rubs his back <clears throat> <laughs> and saying well there I'm I'm already spoken for madam but uh <laughs> yep yeah, it's uh as we know the <laughs> brothers am I right you try to love them and then all they do is kind of get mad and say mm, no plants ain't where it's at science <clears throat> oh Jimmy I do understand deeply. We have a soul connection. Mm-hmm. Want to smoke weed later? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be all that my neighbors heard. Uh, <laughs> I, I can just see Deli pulling a, a little, uh, uh, flashing a little pouch of weed out of her purse. Like, yeah, I got some right here. <laughs> yeah, oh, exactly. Oh, that was, that was a test. I'm actually a cop. I need to arrest you. <laughs> this is the real reason my brother disowned me. I got his, I found a stash. Now, um, but no, he's like, ah, uh, let's see, four. This one has five branches. This one has seven. This one's a halfer. And 
uh, how's this one? And then, like, you see one that's got, like, uh, I'm going to go back to this music now. <laughs> I just thought it'd be funny to play Aww, that song. So <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, but, um, yeah, and then, like, maybe as you kind of, your eyes kind of look at this branch, it's, er, branch, this, this, uh, sapling here, it's, uh, it looks like a, like, a, more like a wooden trunk is starting to grow, and then it's kind of got, like, the main trunk, and then it's got, like, it looks like a branch coming straight out of the top, and then it kind of splits off into three. Like, kind of okay. branches. Like, uh, like, if we would say it would be, like, at, uh, 12 o'clock, 4 o'clock, and 7 o'clock, and then there's, like, a branch that's kind of coming straight out of the top. Okay. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, so Deli's like, oh, that is perfect. You are so skilled at this. I do not understand how your brother does not see just how marvelous. Just so skilled. That is yeah. exactly what I need, Jimmy. All right, all right. Well, we can definitely get it all set up for you. Um... Let's see. What's your credit rating? <laughs> what, kind, what kind of tree is this? What am I? What am I purchasing? What's your credit I rating? Did, I, I credit rating in the game. <laughs> not, yes. That wasn't what I. Twenty. You're fine. It, the, they're not. That wasn't what I. I heard mean, regardless, initially. I was like, "How expensive is this tree?" <laughs> you said. No, you said was, credit rating. I'm thinking. You're gonna have to take a loan out for this tree. Yeah, what? Yeah, <laughs> I know. I was thinking that too. Right. That's a, there's a skill for that. Yeah. So as you're purchasing a tree, we cut back to the fire station. As now there's <clears throat> almost seven men just like I ah, know what fire on head um, until like um, Hubert kind of like regains his senses. He's like. I, you what you wanted you want to look at your dad's stuff he, you, you guys just okay and he just like points at like a, a staircase and saying up oh, there's a recreational room the record players up there like if you need to take it take it I if when, I, no one I'm, really listens I'm sure we'll be hmm? bringing it back a bit later um, we just need it need it for a little while um uh, hey well before right. we go run up to take a look um, you wouldn't have to have any chalk around here would you no, I think I think Charles ate it all or something. What? I don't know. Go. Did you want to look at a record player? Yeah, yeah. We're we're going. We're going. I but uh, we also needed chalk, so I thought you might have some around. And uh, I'll, I'll look. David's Hold going on, to uh, kind of muscle his way a little bit alongside uh, August and start walking up towards this rec room. Yeah, like August now is like kind of his head is like and the, like the top of his clothes is like all white from like every time a new person came up to spray him with the, the fire extinguisher, <laughs> and it's just the uh, all it is is like the <laughs> like the two holes where, where his glasses are. <laughs> and he's very unamused, I imagine. Uh huh. Yes, very unhappy with that. He's like, "Fire, take me now." <laughs> don't know what's gotten into these guys it's it's just fire come on <laughs> uh, we, it's not even hot we head up not like we head up to the uh, rec room and uh find the record player and look for records yes yeah so you see kind of this whole rec room where it kind of has like a foosball table and like a little like uh uh like a refrigerator and a, a table or two set up uh but then, like, over in one of the corners, there is uh, a, a TV with a PS2? <laughs> is that, <laughs> I think, yeah, I know PS3s didn't come out till 2008. Right? When did PS3 come out? I have no idea. I wasn't really asking. <laughs> <laughs> Like, go ask Google. That's what I'm doing. Uh, the PS3. Oh, 2007. 2006. Okay, well, it still didn't come out. 
Um, but anyway, yeah, so the, um, yeah, they have a, like, a PS2 set up there and a couple of games, but then you see kind of, uh, the record player, and it's, it's kind of like an old, beefy one. Um, it's more like a, I guess like a, a cabinet. Uh, oh, fun. Yeah, how are you going to carry that? Yeah, August yeah. is strong. He's got it. Yeah, Ooh. August has like a eight million strength. But now it's it between the two of you guys, like you you be able to to maneuver it out. Okay. Uh, and, and then uh, and nearby, like on a shelf where there's like a couple magazines and books, you see like a milk crate filled with with records. Okay. And. I'm gonna look through the records and find some uh, jazz album or two, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, okay. August is also gonna like start kind of flipping through albums. Okay. Uh, give me a, a luck roll to see if the. That was a um, 75 over 70 for uh, for David. Mine's a 52 over 50. <laughs> I'd like to use luck to, to make it a success. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I can use those two points. Yeah, but the problem is that wouldn't work. Yeah, it would just make it lower. If I could, I uh, would, but yeah. <laughs> because it's a luck roll. Can't do it. It would never get yep. there. So there's no jazz records in that whole thing? Well, you guys look, and then you look again, and you look again, and you're like, I don't recognize any of these things. Like, they're just, you you remember your August dad. August is just like muttering, he's like, I don't like jazz. I don't know what jazz is. I don't know any of these artists. <laughs> like, <laughs> August, it's fine. This, you don't have to like it. We just need the jazz album. Yeah, but the, it, it, I've never listened. I don't know what it would even look like or what artists or jazz or... Just look for saxophones and trumpets and stuff like that on the on the cover art. <laughs> you find a ska record. Yeah. <laughs> August is like, oh, yeah, all right, good, good idea. And just starts, like, flipping through again. Uh, yeah, so, like, this is taking some time to do. Uh... As you you keep looking through and everything, and then after after I'm gonna say like 30 minutes of you guys kind of just like there's gotta be something here. Um, uh, Hubert comes up and it's like, "What do you guys? You guys are still here? Oh my god! What what are you guys looking for? Uh, jazz. I I I could have sworn Dad has had some jazz in his collection. Hold up and." He's like looking. He's like, no, it's here's why. And uh, he kind of goes over, and he's just uh, oh, as everything just disappears off my monitor. Uh, <laughs> he uh, he just kind of like goes over, and he's just like, look, uh, they. I guess somebody was listening to it to this uh, earlier, and. He picks up a record handle. Okay. The page doesn't want to load for me. Um, there we go. Uh, and he picks up a kind of this old like album that like as soon as you see it, you realize like your your dad like that Caleb had this album, uh, a Chet Baker album. Um, I'm trying to see if I can find a Chet Baker record thing. Let's see. Baker vinyl. Let's see what shows up. Oh, Amazon. They had that back then. <laughs> um, <laughs> definitely not that. <laughs> Let's see. 
I came out in 2019. This doesn't help. <laughs> um. Man, there's like. This is what happens when I try to find these things super fast. Uh, anyway, it's it's such it's some uh, vinyl that has a name that you guys are like, oh yes, this is fitting for the time uh, and everything. Uh, yes, a very obvious jazz record. <laughs> <laughs> a a. Chet Baker, Life in Europe, 1956, Volume 2, Jazz Analogy. Oh, boy. This is the first one I found that actually had a date. Uh, oh, never mind. Here we go. Chet Baker in New York. There we go. <laughs> jazz that one came Ann out in Arbor. 1985. I found a Jazz at Ann Arbor. August holds up a Jazzy Jeff record and is like, is this what we're looking for? <laughs> <laughs> You get that trash out of my face now. <laughs> um, but anyway, you have this album, and he's just like, yeah, so why why you need this? As, like, he's looking at, like, he's talking to you, but he's just staring at August's head. Just yes, like, that's, that's why we need it. You're looking at why we need it. Um, listen, I don't want to break you any more than we already have. Um <laughs> We'll bring the, the player back as, as soon as we can. Um, if you don't have any chalk, do you, do you, would you know anywhere that we could get some some chalk that, by any chance? I don't know. I know the cafe down in downtown has a, one of those chalkboard signs they put outside. Ask them. I don't know. Like, you can check where the kids hang out. Um, okay, we'll we'll uh, we'll try the the cafe. Uh, you've been incredibly helpful. I'm gonna be in town for I think I'm gonna be in town for a couple of days. Let's let's grab uh, maybe we'll grab some dinner, and catch up on old times. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Do you need help carrying this thing out? Um, yeah, if you don't mind. I kind of do, but if it gets your fire-headed friend out of the way faster, <laughs> sure. And so with that, it's uh, we now lock into the kind of uh, three hours and like 40 minutes after like all this. Uh, so an hour and 20 minutes left around there so 20, 20 for 15. An hour and 20 but, minutes uh, to find three pieces of chalk. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but as maybe you pull out your phone to contact um, Delhi with the update, you see that you got a response from Mother where it's just like cross confirmed. Um, so uh, I'm going to send a, a now that we have the record player, I'm going to send a copy or a picture of the I'm gonna send a whole copy of it. I'm gonna send a picture of the <laughs> the jazz album and the uh, record player. All right. Um, send that and yeah so what are you well what do you want to do you want to contact Deli or yeah I'd let I'd send also send Deli a note saying hey we've got the uh, the record player we're heading to the we're heading to the Deli or the cafe in town to see if they that has this uh, chalk sign to see if we can find more chalk from them Um, and Deli just, they get a message back and she just says, sounds good, I'll, we'll meet you there. Okay. So, um, as you guys kind of head back in to town, um, the boy, since you would have probably been leaving, actually, no, we'll, we can say this was all happening around close to the same time. Um, by the way, Deli, did you send a picture of the trip? I can't remember. If you did. I didn't okay. say it. I was waiting because we didn't like technically role play me like going back to the car. But yeah, I think she would have oh, yeah. before just... she like put it in the trunk, like took a picture and sent it. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, and we'll say like 
uh, you guys kind of are like one, one of you guys is in front of the other like you guys are now like next to each other you're heading down to the cafe yeah um, and Deli you uh, like it, we'll, we'll do this from your perspective like as you're driving back like you as you kind of kind of transfer off of the main road into um, North uh, North Poplar Street mm-hmm. um, you look down and you see that there's like a couple cop vehicles in front of a church um, you didn't catch the name of it as you were going by but uh, it seems like there's a couple cops just like scouting the area and like uh, looking around and, and stuff and talking to a neighbor or two. Whoops. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So she what? just kind of, like, looks across. She's like, huh, I wonder what happened there. And Sarah's like, I, I don't know. It's... <laughs> could we, wait a second. It wasn't one of the... You don't think the boys... Oh! <gasps> And she, like, Deli gets, like, a big grin on her face, and she's like, oh, I'd be so proud of him if he broke into that church. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, sure. And, uh, yeah, you guys pull into the cafe, uh, maybe get some street parking, and... Yeah, on the on the sign, you see you see uh, a purple. Sorry, not a purple. You see a um, chalkboard with uh, like, and it's written in there. They got like yellow writing, but you see that there is also like that someone like did some like flowers or something where there's the like a green kind of grass and branch with. Uh, a purple flower um, and <clears throat> excuse me and the, like a purple and pink flower uh, just kind of kind of there and like just a couple of other like some white white text saying welcome and maybe in red like the price for the specials and stuff but uh, yeah you see you you all can see that there's like a pink a there's clear chalk being used for green, pink, uh, purple. I think there's another color I said, but anyway, but there's signs of other colors that you guys didn't have. I think we only need three, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if we can get the uh, green, purple, and pink, that would yep. fill the bill. Yep. Um, All right, so who's, who's going in? Do we get there at the same time? Yeah, no, you guys were next to each other as you were going. Like one one car was in front of the other. Um I mean I'm assuming that we're like getting out of the car, so like Deli gets out of the car and like walks over to them. Um Oh man, I wanna talk to my husband who's sneezing right now. Um <laughs> Yep, <Yeah>, sorry. <laughs> uh and so as August gets out of the car, she's like, Did you guys rob a church? And just to paint the picture, Kit, not Caleb, um, August, like, the top of his shirt and, like, face is, like, <laughs> all pat and hair is, like, all powdered white, <laughs> except for two circles for his eyes where his glasses are, and he is looks miserable. And then she's like, what happened to you? The fire know, station know. happened. They saw fire and just react. What they thought was fire just reacted. Um, oh, no. I, do- I lost count at a dozen. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it was trying to get the them on task was was a challenge. And as you guys pull up, like you both receive text messages. Uh, uh, Delhi getting one saying, "Tree." Uh, accepted mm-hmm. and for uh, to, to David you get a text message saying record player accepted record passable 
<laughs> just passable. passable. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, Man. some jazz standards. Wow. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> got some tastes going on here. All right. I will say for anyone that's listened to this or watching, I don't know any Chet Baker songs off the top of my head. <laughs> so I did a quick Google search of what is a jazz artist from blank time. And he was one of the ones that came up. He was like the first name I saw in a list of 40. <laughs> Just scrolled to the middle. Uh, so what would you guys like to do? So it looks like I this place might have a... I asked if you robbed a church. Well, uh, about that. Um, I think the cop cars that you saw there might have been... Or that we passed might have... Might be an answer to that. Yeah. Well, I guess we better get this uh, done and over with soon before they start putting pieces together and come looking for their cross. Uh, hopefully we can smooth things over afterwards. Um. I August is like, didn't you leave a note with your name on it saying you took it? No, I <laughs> left a note with my initial on it only. <laughs> I'm not dumb. <laughs> <laughs> quick cut to the church All right. someone lit this candle on fire let's get a fingerprint sample because uh, there was Android no other candles sample. there was no other candles lit um, and yeah and let's uh, let's take a let's take this uh, thing down to the <laughs> to the station to get a fingerprint see if we can find any prints on it <laughs> David's cut. going to jail <laughs> with Big Bird. Yeah, it's, it's possible. I mean, also, in David's mind, if this ritual works, then worth it? <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Uh, uh, okay, I mean, I guess we're going to have to go inside. Yeah, so the, it looks like this place might have chalk that... I mean, they've got, there's enough color on this board that we should be able to find what we what we need. We just got to convince them to get let us uh, buy or take some of their chalk? Should be easy enough. Who needs chalk? We'll bring it back. We'll bring it back, probably. <laughs> Cost them a couple of bucks. I'm sure they. I'm sure we can buy it from them. So Deli starts to head inside. Okay, who's all going inside? Sarah is not going inside. Because of her face. Well, that's rude. <laughs> <laughs> um, All right. I will be following Deli in. Yeah, and August is going to go into All right. August looks like he's the crow right now with his... <laughs> At least you can't see his uh, firebrand, so... No, you there. can still see it. <laughs> I was say, that's pretty it sure just, that's like, melted visible. through. <laughs> no, it just didn't touch it. It's just, uh, he's still just... Like, it just phased through and, like, hit his head. Like, it, the rune is still very visible. Okay, let's go. Uh, yeah. So, you go in, and it's it's kind of empty. And uh, there's, like, maybe a couple couple people sitting there. And you, if you guys walk up to the, the front area, it's, it, it's pretty much, like, a big kind of, like, counter area with a bunch of, like, bar seats up there uh, for people who can sit up. On, uh, to get coffee right there and then there's like a couple booths and tables uh, like booths along the wall and like maybe one or two tables in there and it's kind of crammed in, cramped in there and it's just uh, you, you, you walk up and um, before you you may see one of the most difficult guardians of, of a coffee shop a uninterested teenager. She's like, <laughs> what do you want? And we'll see you next week. <laughs> like, I don't I know. See, can I do a good thing? <sighs> what do you want? Oh my goodness. <laughs> if they don't care, then this should be the easiest part of our job so far. I wouldn't hold my breath on that. I know. <laughs> episode five, ordering a coffee. Yeah. Or episode six, <laughs> ordering a coffee. It takes the rest of your time. Ritual was not able to be completed. 
We Cthulhu fail because we can't unlock the uh, crack the teenager code. <laughs> uh, Kale, not Kale. David uh, <laughs> is convinced that it's a an, an unworldly monster. Pulls out uh, Caleb's gun and shoots her in the head. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so dramatic, so quickly. Yep, as it should be. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll see y'all next week. Until Bye. next time. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye.